Welcome back to our series of 30 teams in 30 days, taking you all the way up to opening day. I'm the voice of Evan, and today we're talking about the New York Yankees. Last season in the Bronx was pretty much the worst case scenario, and then somehow it got worse. New York went 82-80, and 80. that's 17 wins less than they had in 2022. That's good for a fourth place finish in the AL East ahead of Boston, and they missed the playoffs for the first time since 2016. And there were a handful of players that put the pinstripes on for the last time. Not too many big losses, though. Luis Severino going to Queens, Wandy Peralta to San Diego, and IKF to Toronto. But also the Yankees, in true Yankee fashion, had a busy offseason, picking up Juan Soto and Trent Grisham in a trade from San Diego, Alex Verdugo from Boston, and Marcus Stroman from Chicago. This isn't even all the guys they got. MLB Pipeline ranks the Yankees' farm system at 11th overall. They have four prospects in the top 100, led by Jason Dominguez at 41, and New York has the 26th pick in the MLB draft. According to RotoChamp, here's the Yankees' projected opening day lineup as they head to Houston to take on the Astros. Starting rotation is also included. Feel free to pause. My big question for the Yankees is, can they stay healthy? On paper, the Yankees have a roster that very well could compete for the AL East, if not the American League, if not the World Series. However, the reason they couldn't do that last year is because everything that could have gone wrong did. Not saying that's going to happen again this year. It would take a Herculean effort to replicate the IL they had last year, but it does indicate that this season will be won or lost based on the depth that the Yankees have on their roster. Adding Juan Soto, Trent Grisham, and Alex Verdugo gives the Yankees options in the outfield, and bringing Jason Dominguez back into the fold before the season's over will give New York a surplus of outfielders. And then there's the Yankees starting rotation where Garrett Cole is, as always, a Cy Young candidate. And this time around, he's one of three guys who, if you ask me, could easily be an ace on a whole lot of other ball clubs. In fact, if memory serves correctly, one of them was Marcus Stroman. The Yankees might not win the division this year, although they very well could, but they will be a tough, tough out nonetheless. My Yankees hot take is that Juan Soto wins MVP. Vegas sets the Yankees win line at 93.5, and I'm going to take the over. Where are all my Yankees fans at? Sound off in the comments.